I I feel proud to express my point of view over the topic common error in English. Here we should know that learning process and errors in learning they are simultaneous where there is learning process there must be error so we cannot expect out of uh, out of it making error is not bad in particularly in language error making is part and parcel of life we should not be hurry as a teacher we should not be hurry in the classroom to keep ourselves busy correcting the error of the students there is a thought to hurry is bad to hurry for anything whether you are in the classroom correcting the errors of students during writing some uh, something some topic or speaking about it so to hurry is bad but to delay is worse if you hurry some work there is chance of becoming some error in it to hurry confuses and delay frustrates <coughs> एक किलर मर्डर उसके हाथ में रिवॉल्वर है और वो एक राइटर का मर्डर करने जाता है राइटर अकेले कमरे में बिजी है और जैसे ही उसके कमरे में वो एंट्री लेता है रिवॉल्वर से उसको रिवॉल्वर दिखाते हुए थ्रेटेड करता है कि मैं एक मर्डर हूँ यहाँ पर पुलिस से प्रोटेक्शन लेने के लिए तुम्हारे ही घर में रहना है और तुमको मारकर तुम्हारी आइडेंटिटी लेकर रहना है तो वो राइटर जो है और कोई चलाकी कोई ट्रिकेरी नहीं दिखाना रिवॉल्वर सामने है तो वो राइटर जो है उसको अपने और विथ फुलनेस से अपने प्रेजेंस ऑफ माइंड से एक आर्टिफिशियल प्लॉट या स्टोरी कॉन्स्पिरेट करके वो प्रूव करता है कि ये जगह तुम्हारे लिए सेफ नहीं है और मैं भी यहाँ पर ज़्यादा देर रुकने वाला नहीं हूँ मैं भी एक तुम्हारे ही तरह क्रिमिनल हो और पुलिस हो सकता है कि यहाँ तक इनफॉर्मर के जरिए पहुँच जाए और हमको मार दे तो यहाँ पर हम भी सेफ नहीं हैं इसलिए हमको यहाँ से जाने की तैयारी कर रहे हैं तो अगर तुम बचना चाहते हो तो तुम भी चल सकते हो और अगर तुमको बिलीव नहीं होता है तो ये एग्जिट डोर है देखो सामने मेरा इन्फॉर्मर है कुछ देर में पुलिस आएगी हम लोग दोनों अरेस्ट हो जाएंगे और उसको एग्जिट डोर की तरफ दिखाता है एक्चुअली वो एग्जिट डोर नहीं रहता है वो डोर ऑफ कबर रहता है और उस कबर में उसको चालाकी से पीछे से पुश करके और कबर में बंद करके अरेस्ट करवा देता है पुलिस से 
तो इसमें राइटर का प्रेजेंस ऑफ माइंड तो था ही लेकिन उस क्रिमिनल का एक्शन डिले भी था अगर वो काम जल्दी करता यानी मर्डर वो जल्दी करता जल्दी से रिवॉल्वर से गोली चला देता तो शायद वो अपने मकसद में कामयाब हो जाता कहने का मतलब ये है कि कभी कभी किसी काम को जल्दी करने से ज़्यादा अच्छा रिजल्ट मिलता है कहीं ऐसा नहीं कि ज़्यादा देर हो जाए और जो रिज़ल्ट मिलना चाहिए वो नहीं मिल करके और फ्रस्ट्रेशन होता है इसीलिए हम जब क्लासरूम में होते हैं तो हम लोगों को जो है स्टूडेंट्स डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मिस्टेक करते हैं पहले हम लोगों को आइडेंटिफाई करना चाहिए देखना चाहिए कि किस तरह का मिस्टेक है या एरर है रिलेटेड टू ग्रामर कॉमन एरर इन इंग्लिश फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी शुड अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज ग्रामर एंड व्हाट इज प्रोसेस एंड पार्ट्स ऑफ पर्पज ऑफ लर्निंग ग्रामर ग्रामर इज साइंस ऑफ लर्निंग लैंग्वेज इट इज अ साइंस ऑफ लर्निंग लैंग्वेज इफ इफ वी आर हैंडलिंग ग्रामर देन वी मस्ट बी वेरी कॉशियस दैट वी शुड नॉट बी वेरी रिजिड ऑल द टाइम्स और वेरी रिजिड और स्ट्रिक्ट to handle with the grammatical rules i want to drink example i want to drink water water bachche ne do bar water likh diya i want to drink water वाटर बच्चे ने दो बार वाटर लिख दिया हम उसको बोले बेटा दो बार लिखना रॉन्ग है एक ही बार बट प्रोमिनेंट पोएट का की पोएम की लाइन पढ़ते हैं तो उसमें लिखा हुआ है लाइंस में वाटर वाटर एवरीवेयर बट नॉट अ सिंगल ड्रॉप ऑफ वाटर टू ड्रिंक दो बार वहां तो दो बार वाटर आ रहा है एक लाइन में तो क्या दो बार वाटर लिख देना ग्रामेटिकल मिस्टेक है एरर है और उस पर बहुत ज्यादा रिजिड होना चाहिए वी हैव टू डिसाइड फर्स्ट दैट व्हाट इज मिस्टेक एंड व्हाट इज एरर तो वेन एवर वी टॉक अबाउट ग्रामेटिकल एरर कॉमन एरर इन इंग्लिश मीन्स मोस्टली ग्रामेटिकल एरर्स ग्रामर एज आई सेड यू साइंस ऑफ लर्निंग लैंग्वेज ग्रामर इज ऑल्सो नोन एज ईज ऑफ लर्निंग लैंग्वेज ईज चाबी देर आर एरर्स आर इंटरकनेक्टेड रॉन्ग लेटर एरर इन राइटिंग द लेटर लीड्स एरर इन राइटिंग वर्ड एंड एरर इन राइटिंग वर्ड्स लीड एरर इन राइटिंग सेंटेंस एरर इन राइटिंग सेंटेंस लीड्स एरर इन राइटिंग पैराग्राफ Error in writing paragraph leads error in understanding and observing it. <coughs> so from letter to sense, letter to word and word to <coughs> sentence and sentence to paragraph and paragraph to observation and uh, achievement. एरर्स आर इंटर कनेक्टेड
if you are not allowed to do any error in our if you want to deliver something uh, use uh, if you want to deliver something effectively then we are expected not to do frequent errors in paragraphs if you want to check the frequent errors of paragraphs we must be careful to avoid error in sentences if you want to uh, uh, avoid the error of sentence then we must avoid error of writing words speaking wrong words unreliable words sometimes uh, we do the mistake of using words uh, <coughs> words our uh, thoughts and ideas are locked in our mind the words are the only keys which will open them so it is a technique that in different situation we are using we have to see the students that they are using uh, the relevant word or not to fulfill the purpose of listening and understanding this is why uh, grammar has been divided into five parts knowledge about letters that is beginning part the term is known as uh, orthography or what we call in this uh, first part orthography orthography known as word vichar in english language first of all we teach the small children beginners about the graphic <coughs> knowledge of letters and how to pronounce and write it effectively and correctly in this way etymology is another part syntax punctuation prosody there are these are the few parts <coughs> or a uh, few parts of grammar in which first in first part as i uh, explained right just now or in orthography we teach the children about uh, Be, uh, beginning ideas of the letters how to write and pronounce them uh, dividing them into vowels and consonants and next learning we give to the children uh, in grammar about words we will we'll teach them formation of words nature of words use of words all of them different uh, forms of a different use of a particular word in fact <coughs> in grammar we teach the children parts of a speech parts of a speech is nothing but it is the enlarged part of etymology in etymology is the next step to learn the language after learning the letters we are we are after teaching the letters to the students we are teaching them formation and use of words when we uh, talk about etymology we in english grammar divide it into different uh, according to their use in sentence according to their function in sentence we divide them in noun pronoun verb adverb adjective etc 
so appropriate you observe that how they are interconnected first they are talked about letters uh, in orthography next they are being talked about etymology talk about the use of words formation of words and next is uh, next part of grammar is uh, sentence teaching of sentence that is known as syntax in syntax is a uh, branch of grammar deals with the varieties of sentences we speak or write we speak and write a number of sentences sentences spoken by us are responsible <coughs> to deliver our uh, emotions in different situation we have different emotions and those emotions we express in writing or speaking sentences so sentences have uh, much importance so the third part is syntax in syntax we deal with the making of sentences like uh, what we are teaching in the classroom the students are being taught about affirmative sentence this is negative sentence this is uh, command and request means indirectly or directly we are teaching them that we are having different emotions and to express them we have different nature of sentence some are assertive simple some are sometimes we have to ask the question or express or uh, place the order or request sometimes we have to uh, express our strong feeling sudden and surprise grief and pain and pleasure so collectively if you talk there are variety of sentences and these sentences are taking the responsibility to express our emotion any wrong in this portion of grammar syntax uh, will harm the sense of uh, uh, sense of learning another is punctuation we also teach the students about different sign and symbols which play great role up to these four parts there are five parts of grammar i discussed but till now these are four parts beginning from the letters uh, teaching of letters orthography then about words etymology <coughs> then about sentences that is syntax when we teach them about etymology i as i told you that etymology means giving ideas and knowledge about words and uh, parts of his speech is uh, an enlarged form of etymology so we teach them about words dividing into different parts of his speech then we also teach them about uh, different symbols and signs like full stop comma colon semicolon question mark a sign of emotion a strong feeling these are very useful uh, to avoid the errors in the english language when we are speaking or writing we have, we teach them in class the last part is up to these four parts i mean orthography etymology syntax punctuation these are ordinary learning of grammar ordinary learners means every ordinary learner has to <coughs> learn these portions as a basic knowledge of grammar and 
बाउंड ऑफ प्रैक्टिस 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 एंड प्रैक्टिस ऑल दिस क्वेश्चन आफ्टर दैट वेन वी एडवांस इन टू द हायर पार्ट ऑफ ग्रामर लर्निंग then we departure from ordinary language and that is known as prosody prosody is the branch of grammar which makes us learn about different types of advanced language now we enter into uh, in this part of grammar when we reach we uh, go up we rise up and as i told you departure from ordinary language and entry into advanced language so when we enter into advanced language then we uh, teach the students about uh, different poetic devices different categories of poetry about rhymes figures of speech simile metaphor alliteration and terms uh, advanced terms related to it so all these parts together whether we are teaching them ordinary language or advanced language in grammar they are helpful to uh, avoid the error in the language allah khair sabhi so grammar is very useful we encounter the when we are Uh, teaching students in classroom we encounter errors and mistakes very fre frequently and the question is that it is not to correct the student the question is that uh, how we take it if a child does mistake in front of you then on how you differentiate error and mistakes there are difference mistakes are you should know before correcting a child or any learner in the classroom we should know that mistakes anyone can do whether it is learner or learned mistakes means slip of tongue here i am trying to discuss about the difference between error and mistakes mistakes as i told you slip of tongue or slip of pen while writing or while speaking i am speaking lot of sentences <coughs> i am not sure how many mistakes i am doing it's slip of tongue and but i should not stop communicating if i take worry or bother about that so many mistakes i am doing but i will not focus it i have to communicate and focus on the way of communication if a child is communicating let him communicate avoiding his mistakes mistakes are not permanent mistakes happen from anyone it is a slip of tongue slip of pen and it is temporary deficiency it is on the surface temporary deficiency we should not force it and sometimes when you see a child is doing mistake but he is communicating he is speaking he is doing in learning reading or writing whatever 
लेट हिम और हैव बी फ्रीडम अवॉइड हिज मिस्टेक्स और मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम इफ यू वॉन्ट टू करेक्ट गिव द चांस टू द लर्नर फॉर सेल्फ करेक्शन लेट हिज हिज और हर मिस्टेक करेक्टेड बाई लर्नर्स डोंट टेक इट very hard and fast uh, it is laps of the surface not in the deep of the surface and error is a repeated mistakes if error is going on it's repeated mistake there is some deficiency in learning of grammar in the deep of surface so we have to identify the difference between mistakes and error we correct so called mistake or error of children in the classroom but have uh, have we ever uh, guessed or found uh, the reasons of <coughs> happening errors or mistakes if you observe uh, what are the sources of errors the uh, point is we have to discuss this point sources or source of errors why errors are happening why mistakes are happening? before correcting it we should know why it is happening what are the source when we talk about source of errors there are two types of error because there are two types of language language one mother language and language two target language that is english language a child is learning english language from his or her own mother language language 1 to language 2 but before learning the mindset of child is adapted the mindset of the child is adapted in mother language so we have to understand that there is uh, interference of mother language mother language is interfering or helpful to learn the foreign language this is the point to think that mother language is helping him or disturbing him to learn it so that uh, experts believe that uh, intralingual interference they call it intralingual interference it is a kind of interference that right? uh, how can we change the mindset of a student who is adapted addicted to think and do all uh, deliveries of his works and deeds uh, in in his mother language or in her mother language you know how can you change it you can force to change him to speak or write words or sentences so that is one type of reason why children do mistakes because they use and understand since their birth time in their society in their family they use and understand their language one that is their mother language so some effect of it will come as the form of error 
what you so called error or mistake the child can do the mistake then this is the uh, reliance or dependency which leads to make wrong or do error and it is not a strange thing in many countries of the world where there are english are spoken english is spoken they also speak their mother tongues a moroccan student i give you example from a, a student from morocco country how much time you teach him or her that you speak that uh, i am 17 years old speak english sentence i am 17 years old but most of the time he is habituated to speak i have 17 years old because he is in his mother tongue he is adapted the system of speaking like this i have 17 years old we <coughs> not using i am using have because of the interference of language so experts say the interference of mother language experts say that this uh, they rely on means that they, they, they are dependent and this reliance reliance word comes from rely means dependency so their dependency on mother tongue leads to make error or wrong in their target target language so it is one kind of source of error another point is uh, intralingual means they are over generalized of uh, over generalized of language one mother language is generalized everywhere they are going to restaurant hotel market living with mother and fathers they are so general to speak their mother language that it gives a little impact in the form of error when they come to love english or uh, target language language to this type of effect is considered as so another source of error <coughs> for example a child speaks in formation caesar shoe he knows that or he has been taught he or she has been taught that uh, when s is added then the words become plural so that type of interference is intralingual interference which are responsible over generalized uh, over generalized uh, uh, actions and impact of it comes in the form of error while learning english context of learning another disturbance is context of learning context of learning means materials we are providing and if we don't mind we teachers are also materials materials we are providing classroom teaching tools aids and more importantly teacher who is 
are teaching particular lesson if we are failure our failure comes in the form of a student's error when they speak or write if we are teaching them uh, we are explaining some story paragraph poem if we are failure there we are not relevantly and effectively we are not doing it then later consequently when the student perform you can observe error in the performance so what is it it is the student's error or it is our failure errors generated because of our failure how can we take it and who will be responsible it is very easy to correct others but it is difficult to correct oneself so sometimes we have to think in this way also that's why it is said that a student's errors are not errors it is teacher's failure teacher's failure become a student's error because we are also uh, materials for them and atmosphere of learning materials and atmosphere of learning so we correct the students error but we also have to think about this for these points that what are the sources of error or why the students are committing errors why and the other is communicative way how errors are viewed in both the teaching process i discuss differences about the view point of error committing error how it is seen in the audio lingual language errors are seen as a bad habits and the students are punished and penalized for it in in one type of teaching method students are not allowed to do errors when they do the errors they are punished or penalized for it but this is not effective the another kind of teaching in communicative learning errors or mistakes are tolerated <coughs> as part and parcel of learning process we should admit it accept it and advocate learning process focus more learning process rather than mistake or errors to understand it in better way i have uh, arranged one video for us you have to observe more points sorry so video one हेलो मैं अव्वल जो लोग इंग्लिश सीखने के लिए इंग्लिश को सिर्फ पढ़ते हैं बुक्स पढ़ते हैं मैगजीन्स पढ़ते हैं न्यूज़पेपर्स पढ़ते हैं पर किसी भी तरह से इंग्लिश को सुनते नहीं हैं वो लोग वर्ड्स की प्रोनाउंसिएशन में वर्ड्स को बोलने के तरीके में अक्सर गलती कर जाते हैं क्योंकि बहुत से इंग्लिश वर्ड्स ऐसे हैं जो बोलने में वैसे नहीं है जैसे वो लिखे जाते हैं आज मैं प्रोनाउंसिएशन के कुछ ऐसे रूल्स बताऊंगा जिनसे इंग्लिश वर्ड्स को प्रोनाउंस करना उन्हें सही तरीके से बोलना आसान हो जाएगा तो चलिए शुरू करते हैं आपने बहुत से ऐसे वर्ड्स पढ़े होंगे जिनके एंड में टी आई ओ एन लगता है जैसे कि एक्शन अटेंशन पोजीशन इस तरह के वर्ड्स को बोलने के दो रूल्स हैं 
दो नंबर बात अगर वर्ड के एंड में टी आई ओ एन लगा हुआ है और इससे बिल्कुल पहले का अल्फाबेट कोई भी हो पर एस नहीं होना चाहिए तो इस टी आई ओ एन को शन की आवाज से शन बोला जाएगा कंपटीशन यानी मुकाबला इलेक्शन यानी चुनाव पोजीशन यानी अवस्था सूरत हाल अटेंशन यानी ध्यान तवज्जो एक्शन यानी कुछ करना इन सब वर्ड्स में टी आई ओ एन से बिल्कुल पहले एस नहीं है अब कई बार टी आई ओ एन के बाद कुछ और लेटर्स भी जोड़ दिए जाते हैं जिससे कि वर्ड का मतलब हल्का सा बदल जाता है पर इनमें भी टी आई ओ एन वाले पार्ट की आवाज शन वाली ही आई है जैसे कि नेशन यानी कि देश इससे बना नेशनल यानी देश का राष्ट्रीय नेशनैलिटी यानी राष्ट्रीयता कौमियत नेशनलिज्म यानी राष्ट्रवाद कॉम्प्रस्ती देश प्रेम रूल नंबर टू अगर वर्ड के एंड में टी आई ओ एन लगा हुआ है और इससे बिल्कुल पहले वाला एल्फाबेट एस है तो इस टी आई ओ एन को च की आवाज से चन बोला जाएगा क्वेश्चन यानी सवाल सजेशन यानी मशवरा डाइजेशन यानी हाजमा कंजेशन यानी भीड़ भाड़ जमाव कुछ कंट्रीज में और इंडिया में इनमें आता है हम इन वर्ड्स को अलग तरीके से बोलते हैं सजेशन डाइजेशन कंजेशन हम च नहीं श की आवाज से ही बोलते हैं हम सही नहीं है पर क्योंकि इतने सालों से यहाँ यही सिखाया और बोला जाता है इसलिए यही प्रोनाउंसिएशन हमारी लैंग्वेज का पार्ट बन गई है सो so, जैसा देश वैसा भेस अब आगे बढ़ते हैं आपने कई वर्ड्स ऐसे भी सुने होंगे जिनके एंड में एस आई ओ एन लगता है जैसे कि मिशन टेंशन कंफ्यूजन वर्जन इस तरह के वर्ड्स को बोलने के भी दो रूल्स हैं रूल नंबर वन अगर वर्ड के एंड में एस आई ओ एन लगा हुआ है और इससे बिल्कुल पहले वाला अल्फाबेट वॉवल है यानी ए ई आई ओ यू में से कोई एक है या फिर आर है तो इस एस आई ओ एन को ज की आवाज से जन बोला जाएगा ध्यान से सुनो कि ना ही ये पूरी तरह से य की आवाज है और ना ही ये पूरी तरह से ज की आवाज है ये दोनों के बीच की आवाज है ज टेलीविजन यानी टीवी कंफ्यूजन यानी उलझन डायवर्जन यानी मोर कंक्लूजन यानी नतीजा डिसीजन यानी फैसला एक्सप्लोजन यानी धमाका रिविजन यानी दोहराना रूल नंबर टू अगर वर्ड के एंड में एस आई ओ एन लगा हुआ है और इससे बिल्कुल पहले वाला अल्फाबेट कोई भी है बस वॉल यानी ए ई आई ओ यू में से नहीं है और आर भी नहीं है तो इस एस आई ओ एन को श की आवाज से शन बोला जाएगा मिशन यानी किसी मकसद से कुछ करना परमिशन यानी इजाजत टेंशन यानी परेशानी एडमिशन यानी दाखिला मैं आपको रूल्स के साथ साथ सिर्फ कुछ एग्जांपल्स ही बता रहा हूं आप जैसे जैसे इंग्लिश पढ़ोगे आपको ऐसे और वर्ड्स भी मिलते जाएंगे इसके अलावा कुछ वर्ड्स के एंड में सी आई ए एन लगा होता है इस तरह के वर्ड्स किसी व्यवसाय किसी प्रोफेशन या जॉब के लिए यूज किए जाते हैं इस तरह के वर्ड्स में सी आई ए एन को शन की आवाज से बोला जाता है इलेक्ट्रिशियन यानी बिजली वाला पॉलिटिशियन जो पॉलिटिक्स में हो ब्यूटिशियन जो ब्यूटी पार्लर वाला काम जानता हो कुछ वर्ड्स ऐसे होते हैं जिनके एंड में टी आई ए एन लगा होता है जो हमने इस वीडियो के शुरू में देखा था वो था टी आई ओ एन इन टी आई ए एन वाले वर्ड्स में भी वही दो रूल्स अप्लाई होंगे जो हमने टी आई ओ एन वाले वर्ड्स के लिए शुरू में देखे थे पहला रूल वर्ड में अगर टी आई ए एन से बिल्कुल पहले एस के अलावा कोई भी और अल्फाबेट हो तो टी आई ए एन को श की आवाज से शन बोला जाएगा 
जैसे कि मार्शियन मार्शियन होता है मार्स प्लैनेट पर रहने वाला मन घड़त प्राणी जो कि फिल्मों में दिखाया जाता है डेलमेशन डेलमेशन डॉग्स की एक ब्रीड का नाम है डॉग्स की एक नस्ल का नाम है इजिप्शियन यानी इजिप्ट देश का रहने वाला दूसरा रूल अगर वर्ड में टी आई ए एन से बिल्कुल पहले एस लगा हुआ हो तो टी आई ए एन को च की आवाज से चन बोला जाता है जैसे कि क्रिश्चियन यानी ईसाई धर्म को मानने वाला वैसे आपको पता है कि क्वेश्चन वर्ड कैसे बना है इंग्लिश का एक वर्ड है क्वेस्ट क्वेस्ट का मतलब है खोज तलाश कुछ जानने की कोशिश सो so, इस क्वेस्ट का क्वेस्ट ले लिया और साथ में लगा दिया टी आई ओ एन तो बन गया क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन में है च की आवाज क्योंकि टी आई ओ एन से पहले एस लगा हुआ है सो so, अगली बार इस आसान से वर्ड को सही तरीके से प्रोनाउंस करना मैं आपके लाइक्स और कमेंट्स का इंतजार करूंगा और मिलूंगा कुछ और इंटरेस्टिंग इंग्लिश लेसन के साथ अपनी नेक्स्ट वीडियो में थैंक यू बाय बाय हेलो मेहू till now we have discussed uh, what is the difference between mistake and errors and how different uh, types of grammar help learning students to avoid the commitment of errors when they speak or write what are the different sources of errors why errors are created errors happen uh, because of um, in, in, impact of mother tongue and uh, adaptation in it it also impacts in, uh, in the form of error in english language our atmosphere and um, materials we are providing in the classroom how we are explaining the particular lesson or chapter if we are failure there then it comes in the form of error commitment by the students when they speak or write now it is high time to discuss about error correction who will correct error if a child is doing error uh, who has to correct it when it has to be corrected how it has to be corrected the chat class me error कुछ करता है बोलने लिखने में कौन इसको सही करेगा किसको करना चाहिए कब करना चाहिए और क्यों करना चाहिए और कैसे करना चाहिए इसको ये सब पॉइंट डिस्कस नेक्स्ट तो टाइप्स ऑफ एरर करेक्शन इन द टाइप्स ऑफ एरर करेक्शन व्हेन वी आर गोइंग टू करेक्ट द एरर suppose a child has done any particular mistake there are few strategies to correct the error some strategies are uh, ancient practices and some strategies are modern and practical strategies of correcting error of a learner if a child a learner does any kind of error in writing or speaking something whether he is writing on the board or he is writing in his notebook who will correct it first question 
लर्नर हिमसेल्फ विल गो फॉर सेल्फ का इसको सही कर दे या उसका क्लास सब मिल कर दे उसको सही कर दे या जो टीचर वहां है वो उसको सही कर दे कौन करेक्ट करेगा वो विल करेक्ट ऑप्शन से ये सब बट एक्सपर्ट से दैट यू गिव फर्स्ट चांस टू लर्नर फॉर सेल्फ करेक्शन लर्नर को ही चांस दीजिए कि वो सेल्फ करेक्शन करे टेल ए स्टूडेंट टू राइट a paragraph of few sentences on board and you observe after completing uh, his uh, written work tell him or her that you find your error in this paragraph you underline or circle it this type of activity we can do to promote self correction there is many advantage i am not discussing it uselessly there are many advantage and impact of how something is being corrected and who is correcting it aise hum correction kar rahe hain kaun isko kar raha hai ye sab bada iska advantage aur disadvantage hai तो हम लोग देखते हैं इसको अगर टीचर उसमें जल्दी करेक्ट कर देता है तो दे विल फर्स्ट डिसएडवांटेज दे विल फील इन सर्ट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट दे डू नॉट सेकेंड डिसएडवांटेज दे डू नॉट हैव द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू फाइंड देयर ओन मिस्टेक और एयर उनको तो आप टाइम दिया ही नहीं क्या हमने टाइम दिया है नहीं वेन दे विल थिंक अबाउट इट सो डिफरेंट स्ट्रेटजी थिंक विच वन इज बेटर स्ट्रेटजी ऑफ एर करेक्शन वेदर इट इज सेल्फ करेक्शन और फ्रेंड्स विल करेक्ट दैट इज कॉल्ड पियर करेक्शन और द एंटायर क्लास विल help him to correct his error teacher at last correction by teacher should be done in the last first we should uh, take these choices self correction peer correction another type of strategies of correction is practical strategies what is practical strategy if you are listening or observing a child in the class you repeat correcting the pronunciation while the child is speaking wrong when a child is speaking wrong you don't say that you are speaking wrong no you will speak it repeatedly in a right way child speaks what he observes or looks in front of his or her eyes ek spelling simple word hai no k n o w no the child is speaking no no जो दिख रहा है वो बोल रहा है वेर इज हिज मिस्टेक और मिस्टेक नू यू आर डूइंग रॉन्ग कनो नहीं पढ़ा जाता है ऐसे नहीं पढ़ो वी शुड नॉट डू लाइक दैट आप पढ़ दीजिए सही से हम लोग पढ़ रहे हैं इट इज Uh, yes, it is no. You have done very well. It is no. Repeat. 
so that is reputation practical practically you will find the advantage of it a child is speaking i like to play in cricket aapke samne wo bola hai i like to play in cricket you have spoken wrong sentence aise nahi kehna you have spoken wrong sentence Oh, I see. You like to play cricket. कहाँ रोम किया वो? Child is speaking. I like to play cricket. Verb form में रोम किया. Playing उसको play बोलना है. वो playing बोल रहा है. Verb का first form बोलना है. वो fourth form बोल रहा है. तो अगर वो बोल दिया कि आई लाइक टू प्ले इन क्रिकेट तो डोंट इंसल्ट और डिमोलाइज हिम डोंट रिमाइंड हिम हिज मिस्टेक एस्टेब्लिश योर सेल्फ टू कॉम्युनिकेट विद द चाइल्ड उसको रिपीट करके भी करेक्शन किया जा सकता है ओ आई सी आई नो You like to play cricket. अब playing cricket वो बोला था आप play cricket बोल दिए ओ आई सी यू लाइक टू प्ले क्रिकेट अभी प्लेइंग से प्ले हो गया करेक्ट हो गया तो यू विल नॉट फील हर्ट और इंसल्टेड दिस टाइप ऑफ स्ट्रेटी इज ऑल्सो वेरी प्रैक्टिकल वी शुड एडॉप्ट इट That is reformulation, reformment. If the child is speaking, reformulation strategy. Adopt reformulation strategy to correct the error of the student in the classroom. Another practical strategy is body language. Body language. If a Uh, suppose he is telling or reading the word no knowledge so you should express your body language this is uh, your facial expression body language uh, also is a type of uh, practical way of correcting the errors we can use it so how to correct the errors and when a error is corrected who will correct it is it to be corrected or not so many things we have to see <coughs> this video will help you we let us watch our video it will help you to find different methodologies of correcting errors <coughs> a question for you when you speak a second language do you appreciate it when other people correct you or when the teacher corrects you when you make a mistake well everyone is different and everyone has different preferences but the truth is that if you keep making the same mistakes over and over again you obviously don't improve your language skills and you get stuck at the same level So here are some wonderful strategies that I have used with students that I have found to be extremely effective. So I'll give you a few and you can tell me what you think and if you'd like to try them. So the first strategy that I use with my students is to write the word in the chat box during their conversation and not interrupt them the moment that they say the word incorrectly, right? Then after the class, I would put those words into a Google document and then I would record my voice saying the word with the correct intonation and maybe using it in a sentence so the students can practice after the class throughout the week and review that on their own. And this is necessary in English because it's not a phonetic language and just getting the written correction is not always going to work. So it's really important to have the written correction and the audio feedback for students to review throughout the week. And the second method that I really enjoy using with the members of the Infinity Fluency Academy 
is students are with a partner and they watch a video and then they discuss the video using a number of conversation questions. Then they sit, they record their discussion, which is about 15 minutes long, and I review it. I listen to it. I'm listening for any mistakes, and then I give them corrections or other ways of saying things, maybe some synonyms, as a few phrasal words that they could have used. And then I also record my voice and give them some audio corrections. Why is this an extremely effective method? Well, because when students are talking to each other without the presence of a teacher interrupting, it helps the conversation flow, and also they feel a little bit more free, and it gives them a sense of autonomy. Then they listen to the conversation, and they can use some self-reflection to also see, oh, I hear myself saying, um, so many times. Oh, I heard myself saying this word or that word too many times. So the idea of self-reflection with correction is also something that we often overlook as teachers. We think, oh, we can only make the corrections, right? But sometimes if the students are pushed to correct themselves, it's also really helpful. And sometimes it can create more of a, a click in the mind that interrupts them and helps them see what they're doing. And that is what actually sparks change. It's not going to be a teacher's correction. It's going to be a student's reflection that, oh, oh, <laughs> I noticed that I was doing that wrong. So then, they make very fast progress with this method. So try it, it's really cool. As you can see, self-reflection is very important for error correction because the student determines what's going on, right? And it's not so top down, okay, from the teacher coming down. Now, let me show you an exam preparation method that's been really profound for me. Uh, what, this, what the student does is the student records themselves uh, going through the speaking exam. Since I'm a total preparer, that's mainly what I work with, but you could do this also with the Cambridge exam, with the IELTS exam. Whatever speaking exam that you're working with, try this method with your students. You're going to have the student record their response, and then they're going to listen to the recording, and they're going to transcribe their response and write it out word for word. Okay? Yes, there are automated the strategies are uh, self-correction, let the child go for uh, teacher should correct at last or uh, repetition, repeat, if the child is speaking something wrong, when you speak his word, you take uh, his word in your mouth, his sentence in your mouth and you speak correctly. We have already discussed this point. Now it is the conclusion part. In conclusion parts, uh, regarding common errors in English, I would like to discuss uh, or revise the few factors responsible for doing errors in language. Interference of mother tongue, failure of uh, materials, or failure of teachers to explain uh, properly, <coughs> or impact of society in which uh, a child lives, all these are responsible and his error comes in this form. So we can't say that who is responsible for it if a child is making error. It is unknown. The factor is unknown and it is widely spread. It's anonymous. We can't say confidently that if a particular child has done any mistake in speaking or writing a sentence, behind his or her error, there are a lot of factors. So we don't focus uh, on that. Better we have to adopt the correction and, and uh, give the most of the time we give chances for self-correction and uh, students and friends to come forward 
to find the error and correct it. Thank you. So thank you, Mr. Mubadalikhan. A very good and interactive session for all of us. Uh, some common errors in English or mistakes. We have made clearly the difference between errors and mistakes. If you meet any South Indian people, generally they use a feminine gender mostly. Generally. Even for masculine gender, they are using feminine gender. Tum khana khai. <laughs> if he or she is talking to a masculine gender, then she is talking about feminine gender. As we said about this uh, S, we are uh, using S making plurals. In Alina also it happens. Uh, letters, khat in Urdu, it is called khat. Uh, many students were talking, rock my khats. Uh, they are asking from postman. मेरा कोई खास आया है इट इस कॉमन है देरी थैंक यू मिस्टर मुंता आ इफ दे 